Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy back to school. Today I'm going to be doing a pretty much full face using affordable products. This video is for high school students who maybe can't afford high-end makeup or broke college students who maybe can't afford high-end makeup or just like anyone else. This is kind of a combination of like what's easy and quick and like what I wore slash would wear to school. Everything I'm using in this tutorial is affordable, including the brushes. Um, and yeah, as always, I will have everything I mentioned linked down below. So if you wanna see a quick, affordable face that I would wear to school, then please keep on watching. The first thing you wanna do in the morning is moisturize with an SPF. My favorite one is the CeraVe AM Facial Moisturizing Lotion. So I've already applied that. And the next thing I'm going to do is take just a concealer. I'm not actually gonna use a foundation because I just like didn't in high school. So I'm gonna take the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. Mine is in the number 10 light beige. And I'm just going to dot that wherever I want to cover a spot and put a little bit under my eyes. And then I'm gonna blend that all out with my finger using the ring finger underneath the eyes. If you're kind of going over a large area, you can use the Real Techniques buffing brush and just pat everything in. Or if you want to sheer coverage, you can just buff everything out. And then I'm going to lightly dust some powder um, underneath my eyes and wherever else I normally get oily or where I put concealer. So basically everywhere. I'm going to use the Real Technique setting brush for this and the Body Shop Extra Virgin Minerals powder. This is not hugely affordable, um, but they usually have like sales and promotions and stuff, so I included it. Rimmel Stay Matte is really nice. Some of the Maybelline and L'Oreal powders are really nice. I will list a more affordable alternative in the description box. So I'm just patting a little bit in the uh, lid and I'm gonna just pat this under the eye. Putting powder here is also really good for masking pores. I'm gonna keep using this brush around the chin. And then on the rest of my face, I'm gonna powder with the Real Techniques Multitasker brush. Um, you can also use the Real Techniques powder brush. It'll go a little bit faster. And um, this one's only available in a set, so. So I'm just patting, cause I don't wanna move that concealer. And then I'll buff away the excess super, super lightly. Or like a little aggressively, whatever. The next thing I'm gonna do is a little bit of bronzer and blush. So for my bronzer, I am going to use the Glamour Dolls Vacation Bronzer. This is $5 and it's the size of my face. And I'm gonna use the Real Techniques Blush Brush. This is super pigmented and I'm super pale, so I'm just gonna use a really light hand and just brush that on. A little bit on my temples as well. And then for blush, I'm going to use the Milani Baked Blush in Bellissimo Bronze. I'm just gonna pop that on the apples of my cheeks. And I'm using the Real Techniques Blush Brush again. The next thing I'm gonna do is my eyebrows. I use the NYX Brow Mascara in the shade Black. And um, I'm also going to draw in my brow tail right after this, but if you already have like full to moderately full brows, then you don't need to do that. You can just stick with this step. Just very lightly, I'm gonna brush up and out. It will only coat the existing brow hairs that you have, so it can give you like a really natural look, um, but it won't really add volume to your brows, you know what I mean? So real quick, I'm gonna take this angled brush by NYX. Um, it's called the B22 Angled Eyeliner Brush. I have this NYX Eyeshadow Trio. I'm not sure that this is available, but NYX has like a ton of matte eyeshadows and stuff like that. Basically, my point is in whatever like format, like palette that you have, just find like a dark brown or a light brown or something that matches your hair color and you can use that eyeshadow to do your brows. It's like no big deal. So I'm just going to add a tiny bit of color in the tail just to give myself a brow tail. Okay, now time for the eyes. I'm gonna use the Milani Shadow Eyes 12 Hour Wear Eyeshadow Pencil. This one is in the shade 03 Champagne Toast. These like waterproof, chubby pencils make really good um, eyeshadow bases. I'm just drawing that on and I'm bringing it like to the crease and then I'm gonna take my ring finger 
and just blend it out. So this actually, um, if your lids aren't super oily, will wear just fine on its own. If you wanna use it as like a one and done shadow look, that's fine. But I have pretty oily lids and eyeshadow is my favorite part of makeup. I'm gonna take the cutest brush ever. This is the Glamour Dolls Sperm Whale brush for your crease. Um, let me just give you guys a close up. Look how cute. And I'm going to use the Glamour Dolls bronzer again. Um, and I'm just gonna put that in my crease. I like to use matte shades in my crease and it's hard to find eyeshadows at the drugstore that are matte. So I'm just gonna use the bronzer. And then for my eyelid, I'm going to use the Wet n Wild Comfort Zone palette. This is a great palette. It's all shimmer, which is the only thing that bothers me about it, but the quality is pretty nice. So out of all of these, you can actually put any of these all over your lid. So I'm gonna take this shade over here. It says brow bone, but on my skin tone, it wouldn't be a very nice brow bone shade. And I'm using my e.l.f. Uh, eyeshadow brush. This is like from their $1 line. And I'm going to pat this all over my lid. And on top of that um, champagne toast pencil that we used as a base, it's looking really, really pretty. I'll zoom you guys in so you can see the eye makeup when I'm done with it, but I'm gonna take this shade over here that says brow bone on it, um, and I'm gonna use it as like an inner corner highlight. And I'm just using that same e.l.f. brush. Okay, now you have a couple of options. Um, you can just kind of line your upper waterline, or if your lashes are very naturally defined, just add mascara and be on your way to class. And I'll show you guys how I would do that. It's a technique called tight lining, so basically, you wanna wiggle this between your lashes and if you can help it, look away. Otherwise, just kind of close your eyes while you're doing it. Otherwise, you can kind of um, make little dashes on your upper lash line with a pencil or retractable liner. This one is the Rimmel Exaggerate Waterproof Eye Definer. But honestly, winged liner was kind of my thing in high school. Like. I always wore winged liner, so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm gonna use the Kat Von D tattoo liner, don't hate me, but I ran out of my Physician's Formula one, which is the one that I would use from the drugstore. And so you may have seen me do this before, but basically the way I draw my winged liner is I start at the outer corner and draw a line going up following my lower lash line. So it's as if my lower lash line were just continuing up. And then I'm gonna bring it back in. And this is using the tip of the liner. And then I'm gonna fill that in and um, I'm gonna hold this flat to my eye using little stamping motions to complete the line across the rest of the lash line. So I'm just gonna fill this in. Notice that when I draw the line this way, I'm holding the liner this way, and then when I bring it back in, I'm holding the liner this way. And now that I've filled in the wing, I'm just going to stamp, it's hard to talk, by holding the brush or the felt tip flat to my eye. And then if you feel like you don't like this little dip right here, which I kind of don't. I'm just gonna straighten out the line right here. And then I'm gonna use the Physicians Formula Jumbo Organic Wear, oh, Jumbo Lash Mascara in Ultra Black Organics. And just apply that to your lashes. And then for lips, I'm gonna keep it very simple. Um, and I'm going to use something that I would love to pull out of my purse at school. I am using the Glamour Dolls Bakery Vanilla Flavored Gluten-Free Donuts All Gloss No Guilt Donut Lip Gloss. It comes in this little box, but um, this is the lip gloss. It's like super, super cute. They have a bunch of different shades. I have the red one. So I'm just gonna take my finger and just apply that. Oh my God. It tastes so good. I didn't really wear lip color when I was in high school. It just like wasn't in. But I feel like a red tinted gloss just like is nice because it'll wear nice throughout the day. It won't like get patchy and stuff. But I don't know. I feel like this is a nice way to incorporate a little bit of color. And the good thing about winged liner and a reddish lip is that it looks really good with glasses. So that is everything, you guys. As always, please let me know what you think in the comments below and what you wanna see next. Please don't forget to subscribe. Um, also, follow me on 
Twitter and Instagram at CatEyeSophie. I hope you are having a fabulous start to the school year. I know that each year of school comes with its unique set of challenges for everybody and I just wanted to wish everybody good luck. Um, and remind you to take care of yourselves and try not to camp out in the library too much. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!